Welcome to this video. Today we are testing Komodo antivirus and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. 313 samples in total and we will be using these samples to test how well Komodo does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment I will enable all of the protections here in Komodo and we'll let it sit for just a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own after which we will run a system scan. If there's any samples remaining after that we will scan the samples folder directly and then if there are any remaining samples after that, we will execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Let's go ahead and update. And we are up to date. And Komodo is now turned on and enabled, so we'll go ahead and wait just a few minutes. So far, nothing has popped up. Let's check our samples folder. We are still at 313. And so at this point, let's go ahead and run a scan. And we'll do a full scan. And we will let this run until it's fully completed. And we will be back with the results. Scan has completed and it found 215 and so we can see everything is set to clean. And so let's go ahead and apply actions. The samples folder is down to 99 and so let's go ahead and do a direct scan. 25 more were found so let's go ahead and apply actions. And at this point we are down to 74 remaining items so we will begin to execute. I've gone through and executed the remaining samples and I did notice notifications that were either stopping it or running it virtually, but it does appear that all of the remaining samples are still here as far as the executable files. So what we're going to do is restart the computer and run some second opinion scans. After restart, I ran a scan with Malwarebytes and it came back with 73 detected and so these have been quarantined. After a second restart, I ran a scan with MZSoft, which came back clean, no results detected. Please be aware there was one sample that was not detected by Malwarebytes, nor MZSoft, and also missed by Komodo, and so you can take those results and draw your own conclusions. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. There's many other types of tests, and Komodo very well may perform differently in other types of tests. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.